Studios hanging out on a thrilling Thursday, and we want to welcome our special guest to the studio, Darren Chris. Hi, everybody. Woohoo! I, I really love Atlanta. You do? I was going to ask you, have you had many occasions to come to Atlanta? I've had a lot of really great times that I don't think it's important to talk about. I'm glad. The staff to feel me. Yeah, uh, yeah we, we, I'm glad that you experienced I, I Atlanta and all the good things I here. I eat very well here, and by very well, I mean it's not that good for me, but it's great. But there's some good eating. Have some you eating. experienced like the Beltline or anything fun? Like that, that's yeah. kind of a new thing that everybody Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of more new school. I, I just, I love the one that... Forest guy, all the uh -huh. trees. Um, so driving around. We have a lot of. That's why Atlanta is really pretty. We pretty. We've got trees and hills. And yeah, I got everything. I, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of all the the industry, the entertainment industry that's happening in Atlanta. Yeah, there's a lot being filmed here, so they will be back. Music coming yeah. out of Atlanta. The Atlanta scene is a, is right. a real thing. Um, yeah. So it's cool. Yeah, I, I love. I, I come here. Um, there's a, a big musical theater uh, convention that happens every January for young people to contribute. Uh -huh. I come here quite often. Oh, that's great. Well, welcome back. Thank you. We're glad to have you here. So everybody here really knows you mostly from Glee, but you did have a career going long before you got Glee. Sure. Um, but did you, do you have any favorite memories that you have that you take with you from Glee? Are there any, uh, any few well, that you have? What's so funny is that I mean, so many things happened that even just now, before we were uh, we were rolling, uh, we were playing a song, and I asked if the song was from music Glee, and I had, I had no idea. Uh, so if that's if that's any uh, indication of my ability to recall things from Glee, then uh, I don't know what else is. But I, yeah, it was all a really great time. I just felt really lucky to be on. It was a huge hit before I was on it, so yeah. I always sort of had an, an objective. Was, was it a dream that you when I got to get on this show? Because it really is. It was such a great show. I'll be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't really watch it before it was on. You didn't? You no, know, my girlfriend liked it, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm not really into this. And then, uh, uh, not because I. I Right. wasn't into it just because I didn't proactively watch it. I uh -huh. didn't know any better. And uh, yeah, and then, you know, cut that almost 10 years later. Did you, were you able to take anything? Did anybody take anything from the set when it wrapped? Or I took as many things as humanly possible. Uh, as many things they'd like? <laughs> uh, no, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure what I was doing was pretty good. <laughs> Not allowed. Pretty good appearance, yeah. Uh, but what are you going to do, fire me? Uh, so it was over. So I, uh, um, you helped him clean up. I did. I was being selfless. That's I was right. doing him a favor. I took, uh, there was a couch in the principal's office that I and many of the other cast members slept on for the better half of six some odd years. So that's now in my living room. Tell me, tell me Jane Lynch was able to get through Sylvester's outfit. I'm sure if the option was given to her, I don't think she would have given up on it. I took some outfits for sure. You did? Yeah. Good. Like, I definitely have the, the warbler jacket in my. Did you, um, were you guys, speaking of all the great songs that you guys did on that show, which we'll talk about the show that you're doing right now, um, but were you, did you have much input during the filming of Glee on, yeah. on what songs would be great to do? A little bit, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a perfect segue. I mean, maybe Michelle and I are on tour right now. We can talk a bit about this. How, uh, you know, we, we ended up recording over 800 songs over the course of six or seven wow. months. So uh, a lot of songs were, were were covered, uh, but that you know, still leaves several millions of songs that are amazing, uh, you know, not not in the show. So um, there were a number that we would suggest that they get on the show, and there were a number that we suggested didn't. And so um, this is a tour that really kind of explores all that. Stuff. Now, 
No, yeah, speaking of the tour, whose idea was the tour? Did one of you have to convince the other one to do it? And did it take much? Or no, I what's mean, my arm? I'm in? I, this is what I do. I, I'm, I'm used to this now. I've, I've, I've toured for a long time with a lot of stuff. Um, and I've always played live shows well before Glee and, and hopefully for a long time after. So. And you love live the best, don't you? Yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm old fashioned. I need to be with people and experience things in real time. I'm horrible. Yeah, I mean, but look, hey, listen, I wish I was better at the phone thing because that is slowly becoming a real person, um, much to my chagrin. But there's, um, yeah, I, I like uh, being able to experience the catharsis of having um, people, you know, uh, experience things together. I mean, the, the, the magical thing about Glee is we have millions of such fans around the world, but they weren't there. Uh -huh. So to get to be with these people in a small smaller country that uh, has allowed people like myself and Lily to put their hearts in. Uh, that, that's a really sweet thing to do to, to hang out with them. So anyway, so short story long. Uh, yeah, it's, it's an easy thing. Lee and I have very busy schedules. We've had like uh, two days free, and so yeah. it's very easy and very fun for us. And it was like a, it's like a crazy June for you because everything is super packed from May 30th to July 1st. I think it's, is your tour. It's a good time though. You know, it's, it's, well, I, I know. Really busy for this stuff. Well, and I wonder if the fact that you've worked together for so long, did it make the rehearsals for the show easy because you're just so used to each other that it, that it was kind of... Um, yeah, Lee and I are a really great pair because I'm very I'm very relaxed and sort of, I can do things that last minute and sort of thrive on chaos. And Lee's the exact opposite. She needs to be very prepared and she's very fastidious about um, having things lined up. Which is good for me because I'm the sort of will of the wisp kind of dude. So we uh, we balance each other really out. Where I could use more organization is really great. Where she can use a little responsibility as well. Well, I read recently you're talking about the tour. She said you're one of the most spontaneous performers she's ever sung with. So I'll take that. Uh, and she loved that because she <laughs> said she that you bring her out of her comfort zone. Well, I hope so. And you kind of you know make well, her. But she said that's what makes each show unique when yeah. you're making. You might twist you know mix it up and say every show I make. Mean, is different for folks, and conversely, to, to her credit, you know, she, she definitely makes uh, me operate at a level that is, is probably higher than I would if I was on my own, because <laughs> then I would have a counter to put it on myself. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a cool show because it's got something for everybody. Um, you know, I do try to change up every single night. I play, I play a different song every night for every city because I don't want it all to be the same. Wow. Uh, so, there's that, but also, you know, if you know Leah's solo records or my solo records, or if you don't, even better, because it's kind of a great introductory course to both of our lives and both of our careers. And so I, I get excited when I meet people that got dragged there, someone's what right, you're what right. Dad where is. are we going? Where would it, why am I here? Those are the people that I, I'm sort of... And they'll end up loving it. And to me, hopefully. I think it's not for everybody, because it's some Broadway stuff. Yeah, it's good it's at Broadway, it's jazz standards, stuff. it's pop music, it's, it's both, it's, it's everything. And so, like I said, well, I mean, in line with what Glee was all about, I mean, in what other show are you, you know, watching someone sing a song, sing an Usher song, immediately followed by a Barbara Streisand song, right. and immediately followed by, you know, a, a Gershwin song immediately followed by a, a Guns N' Roses song. In what world are we? I know. Gonna be That's why it made the show so unique, and it was your cast was so talented. Which we everybody could contribute. Yeah. And and you know, it was really fun for all of us who enjoyed it. And so I'm sure all your your fan base is showing up at your shows and yeah. it's doing really well. Well, I gotta say the the, the real touching thing is the the show ended you know two so many years ago. And, you know, with the attention span of most young people, I figured. You know, I, I doubt anybody would still be interested, but... But they so, are. Well, it's not, not only the people that are still interested, but the people that are newly getting interested into it, uh -huh. interested by it, because uh, it's a streaming phenomenon. Right. Younger kids who are starting to watch it for the first time. And, so everything you know, that's old can be new again? <laughs> absolutely. They're watching it over well, again. Well, yeah. which is very apropos of the show, because a lot of those songs on the show weren't new. We right, didn't, we didn't right. We didn't stop believing a hit. That was a hit, you know. That's, yeah. I was singing that in college, as many college kids before me were singing. So it's... It's a cool way to see this sort of uh, uh, cyclical nature, and and there's and there's even a lot of people who watch the show with, with little ones of their own. Right. Uh, so it's uh, it, like I said, in many different ways, it's a real partnering experience to be around these people and celebrate it with them. Yeah, that, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask them before we do our before we get into the game portion of our visit? Oh, do you have a question? Okay, question right there behind you. Is there 
What's your question for Darren? <laughs> you have a question? Did you forget it? Do I sing in general? <laughs> I can sing something right now, but I don't have my guitar. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Sorry, Ali. Wish I could sing something better, but I can't right now. Cause I don't have my guitar <laughs> Okay, um, all right, so we do have a, um, anybody else have a question? No? Okay. Uh, are you getting, are you a willing patient back there to play the game with us, with Darren? You don't okay, mind playing the game? Come up, all right, so we're going to do the Whisper Challenge. Have, you, the whisper have challenge. you ever watched Jimmy Fallon? I have not. When he does the Whisper Challenge? Okay. You're, you're going to like this. All right, come on up. You're going to need to be on the mic, too. All right. Okay, so I'll explain this. What we do is I'm going to I'm gonna have to put your headphones into okay. my YouTube. Okay. And you're going to listen okay. to a song. And then... You're playing a game? Uh, what's your name? Sarah. 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 Sarah do you mind is, if we do this game together? Because yeah. I'm all about no, she, I, well, she said she was down for it. All right. So she's going to say a word or words, and you're going to have to just... You won't be able to hear because you're listening to music. You're right, going to have to okay. see what she said. Alright, so let me put yours in the cover. And then here are your headphones when it's your turn, okay? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna set you up with that. I'm very sensitive here, so. You do? Yeah. Okay, we'll make sure. Alright, sure it's down. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just don't put them on yet. Well, I'm just saying, make sure your volume is down. My volume? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's half. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Make sure to play something. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna play that. How's it how's everybody here doing the other side? Is it that way? Okay. Cool. Pretty cool. Alright. Okay. Is it too loud? Okay. Okay. Alright. So oh, this is Justin Timberlake. Okay, good. Alright, so alright, Sarah. You can you can just talk in your normal voice. You're gonna say watch, you read, look okay, at her lips and see so, if you can tell. So you're gonna she's gonna say it. Okay. And you're just gonna see if you can read her lips and tell what words she's saying. Okay, but I have but I have to listen to this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it'd be easy. I know. Okay. Sure. All right, okay. Sarah. Hakuna Matata. I see. Are you going to be talking? <laughs> <laughs> slow, slow down a little bit. Slow down. Hakuna Matata. Are you going to go? <laughs> All right. One more time. Hakuna Matata. Good job. Do you like hot chocolate? <laughs> Okay, let me tell you what. It was Hakuna Matata. That's pretty close to that was you good. Okay, now we're That's the same feeling. Right. Okay. All right. So now we'll do. All right. All right. Just put your headphones. Give your headphones to Sarah so we don't have to read it. All right. So now Darren's gonna do one with you. It's loud. I have sensitive ears, so it's really loud. No, I put it down. Is that okay? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, here's yours. You're one or the other. That's just mean. <laughs> just mean. He doesn't like it. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right, so pick one. Okay. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa? Oh! <laughs> all right, you want to try one more each of you? Thank you. All right, one more each of you. All right. Okay, all right. Back to Darren. Meanwhile, this song is so good. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. Here's yours. You can't do this because everybody's seen it. All right, so wait till he's ready. Okay, you ready? Wait, is it is it the one that I just saw? No, wait, I picked it different because I know you saw it. I don't want to see it. Seacrest Studios. Let me see that again. Seacrest Studios. Secret Studio. Oh! Close. Very good. <laughs> Studios. I just keep hearing the same thing in my Okay, head. that was very good. All right, Secret we'll Studios. Type. One more time, one more time. Secret Studios. But you dance, dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was, it was, oh, it was Secret Studios. Oh, Secret Studios. Secret Studios. Right <laughs> oh, that's for you, Sarah. Oh, wait, did you want, where'd she go? The other one. 
Would say she would probably say herself, and I would say me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Because I, I always forget lyrics. Okay. Who is more likely to cry at a sad movie? Uh. Man. I mean, I, both of us, but probably more so Leah. Okay. Uh, I'll, no, I'll, I'll stick to this again. I'll say me, and then she'd probably say herself. Okay. I cry at happy movies. <laughs> like happiness is what gets me harder than. Sadness. Okay, between the two of you, who had more bloopers on Glee? Probably Leah. Okay. Yeah. Who has more followers on social media? Probably Leah. <laughs> she actually uses social media. Um, who is more accident prone? Leah. Okay. <laughs> who is a bigger spender? Leah. <laughs> And I think I know the answer to this be. one too. Who spends more time on their phone? Leah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Leah sounds just like a more interesting person. <laughs> I really got to work on that. Oh, no, you've been very interesting. And you know what, Darren? We're so grateful that you came here. I'm so happy to be here. We're so excited here. that you were here. We appreciate yeah, it so much. Because the weather has it's been, true. you know, I think it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful day to be in Seacrest Studio. Yes, but yeah. well, we're grateful. So now we'll get <laughs> to uh, pictures and autographs so everybody can get a picture. Does that sound good? That sounds lovely. Perfect. And we'll play more Glee songs. Great. Right. <laughs> and some for your tour. we got some, too. 